Uh, when I saw the costume, I, I thought it looks amazing, but I thought, why me? The, there's the romance aspect of it, which is another set that we've never seen of her. Uh, that was the reason I became an actor years ago. <laughs> I was like, one day I have to wear a gimp outfit. You, know, you see, you see who Mindy McCready is. You know, you see the girl behind the wig, behind the mask. You see who she is at home, you know, without her dad and now the stepdad who's a cop. You know, she's confused and she is kind of at a loss of a moral compass and doesn't really know who she is or what she wants in her life. It was really fun to be playing the villain this time, to be playing uh, something more evil and, and twisted. Yeah, it was a challenge. You know, you see her kind of having a, having an awakening about about who who she is. She's trying to figure out, you know, if she, she, you know, she likes guys and she, she doesn't know if she's a vigilante or a villain. Uh, you know, when the first movie ended, it didn't make as much money as we thought it was going to, so I think all of us didn't think a sequel was gonna happen until a few, like three or four years later, Matthew called me and said, obviously Mark Miller wrote the comic already, uh, but Jeff Wadlow, the screener and a director, he met with Matthew and Matthew, uh, Jeff won Matthew over and he wrote a great script and he mm -hmm. sent it our way and we loved it. And my, my dad is a huge comic book fan. Oh. Yeah, yeah, so this is a dream come true for him. And, and mm -hmm. my mom, she's, uh, she's just happy I'm working. <laughs> she's happy I'm out of the house. You had loads of fight training. Do you think you could handle yourself in a fight now? Um, I hope so. I, you know, I wish I could say that, but I don't know, you know, I'm, you know, a lot of people have the advantage of height to me, because I'm pretty short, so it's kind of like a, it's a half and half. Yeah, you know, I only had one fight scene, which was with Aaron at the end, mm. uh, but it was intense. I was doing a TV show in LA at the same time as this movie, so I would be flying back and forth from LA and London shooting, uh, so I wouldn't have time to train. Mm. So I would land in London, learn the fight that morning and shoot it that night. It was it was hard. I think that's the fun bit. You know, the fun bit is, is being able to go on set and be silly and, 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 you know, do fake, you know, crazy fighting scenes and jump off ledges and, and you know, that that's the silly bit, you know? But you know, the acting is the, the you know, the, the heavy, cerebral <laughs> bit. I think the main the main difference was, uh, was their energy because Matthew Vaughn was such a relaxed, calm human being. Mm. Uh, and Jeff's energy was just, it was very high. Jeff is a very American director, you know, he's very, he's loud and boisterous and, and crazy and Matthew's very quiet and, and kind of collected. It was a blast and they're both very passionate but I think the energy was the big difference. And Jeff kind of brought a different energy to the set because he was so crazy and he was so over the top and it kind of brought a different energy, you know? I think, I know Chloe had a lot of input with her costume on this one. Um, no, I mean, I think what it was, it was more of a collaboration, you know what I mean? And it was kind of like trying to show a linear kind of aspect of growing up and kind of showing her where she would go, you know. Now she has the, the, the Tomb Raider leg straps and she has a, a tighter costume and a different wig and a, a, a better mask. And it's kind of the obvious steps of growing up just kind of shown through her wardrobe. <laughs> um, no, I, it was it was pretty insane to wear that costume. It was uh, took like thirty minutes to get on and thirty minutes to take off, um, and it was just skin tight. You, I'd be sweating every minute. It was miserable, but it looks amazing on screen. I mean, I think one of the hardest scenes for me was that van sequence where I'm, I'm rolling around on top of the van, and of course, yeah. and you know, I think that was a surprisingly hard scene because you know you spend your days rolling on top of sheet metal, basically just beating your entire body up. I really had a blast. I'm a big Game of Thrones fan. Ian Glenn from Game mm -hmm. of Thrones plays my uncle in this movie. Mm -hmm. And we had one scene together in a prison cell. It, was, it wasn't action or anything, it was, it was pretty mm -hmm. dramatic, but just to act opposite him mm -hmm. was, uh, was, very, it was very surreal. Mm -hmm. So I like doing roles that I, that, you know, that I do look and go, that's so not me. You know, that, you, know, you can look at some of my roles and really see the character and not who Chloe is. You know, you're not going, oh, well, there's Chloe doing a movie, you're going, there's the mm. character. If you, if Marvel offered you a role, or DC offered you a role, is there one that you would like? Um, I think someone like uh, Harley Quinn or something like that. I think that'd be really cool.